this is Joan Fernley, your French diction coach for choirs. And today I will be doing a reading of A la Claire Fontaine. And for the purposes of this video, I will read the lyrics from the choral arrangement by Larry Nichol that you can find on cypresschoral.com. And I'll put the link below. Now, if you poke around the website, you will find a total of three choral arrangements and each of them have slight text variations. And this is completely normal because uh, this is an oral tradition. Folk songs are passed on orally through the years. And of course, text variations will creep in. So there's actually plenty more to say about this song. It's actually quite a significant French Canadian folk song. And for this reason, I decided to tackle this in two videos. So this video is the French diction coaching. And in the second video, I will tackle things like textual variations, performance variations, but also the origins of the song and its connection to a rebellion in 1837 and 1838. So stay tuned for that. So for this video, it'll be my usual three part video where I do first the reading as if I were singing it. And second, I will give you three tips for conductors and singers. And finally, I will do the lesson where we work through the song line by line and you can work along with me. So let's get started. A la claire fontaine m'en allant promener. J'ai trouvé l'eau si belle que Je m'y suis baigné. Il y a longtemps que je t'aime, jamais je ne t'oublierai. Sous les feuilles d'un chêne, je me suis fait sécher. Sur la plus haute branche, un rossignol chantait. Chante, Rossignol, chante, toi qui as le cœur gai. Tu as le cœur à rire, moi je l'ai à pleurer. J'ai perdu ma maîtresse sans l'avoir méritée pour un bouquet de roses que je lui refusais. Je voudrais que la rose fût encore au rosier et que ma douce amie fût encore à m'aimer. So your first tip is the sound E. And you'll find this sound at the end of lines two and four of each verse and also at the end of the refrain. So not only does this sound come up multiple times throughout the whole song, but it's at the end of each musical phrase and it'll get extra attention. So it's probably your most exposed vowel of the entire song and it just happens to be a vowel that is quite difficult for most Anglophone choirs. So it's well worth spending the extra time to get that vowel sound just right and to make sure it sounds French. So what I will often hear is à la Claire Fontaine m'en allant promener j'ai trouvé J'ai trouvé l'eau si belle que je m'y suis baigné. So of course I'm exaggerating, but I really want you to hear that gliding effect that you get with diphthongs. And this is not something that we have in French. And sometimes even you don't realize you're doing this glide even in your regular speech. So it's really good to first pay attention to how we do diphthongs in English so that you can then remove it from French. But there are, there's an extra problem here too. So not only is there the diphthong, but there's also the fact that most people will start with an E eh sound as opposed to an E eh sound. So again, promener is far too open. It's far too E. Eh. So you have to 
have the a sound so you'll also want to practice the difference between e and a so the way i would work on this is by going through all kinds of vowel sounds without moving the mouth and you do things like a e a e and to just try to capture those subtleties now there's one exception to this is in the second verse at the end where it says un rossignol chantait and there you want the e sound it's the exception to the song everything else finishes in e and this one finishes in e for your second tip is the sound on so it's that o n and it's right at the beginning of the song à la claire fontaine and it happens every time in the refrain il y a longtemps so you want a nice open round sound and you want to avoid over nasalizing the sound into an ah sound which is very flat and squished and the simple way of fixing that is imagining that you're putting a lot of o oh in the sound you still have the nasalized sound but you're really opening it up right up into your eyeballs and you're putting some o oh, so you get full ten but you're still getting a hint of nasalized sound il y a longtemps and that is how you would sing o n fontaine and longtemps and the third tip is the word cœur and this you'll find it twice in the third verse and it's a very challenging sound for english choirs and people often say cœur but it's not cœur it's cœur so don't let the spelling confuse you c o e u r the o has is just a a throwback uh, linguistically and so it's the same sound as the eu sound in the word ah which is time or bar which is butter so it's it's a lot like an u h uh, that you would pronounce u h in english uh uh it's the same sound as the e sound at the end of words so clair cœur they're spelled differently but the actual sound is the same Okay, so you're sticking around for the lesson, and so I will be reading the the lyrics very slowly and doing a lot of repetitions so that you can practice along with me. So let's start. À la claire fontaine. So just a reminder that the à ah sound is very open; it's not à, ah. and the e uh, at the end of the words e. Uh. So one more time à la claire fontaine m'en allant promener so i lied i i lied just about everything in this song that's the style and the a ah sound is a lot like on so you need to put some a ah in your a ah, so you don't want to over nasalize that so one more time m'en allant promener j'ai trouver l'eau si belle so the a sound again no diphthongs in a j'ai trouvé l'eau si belle que je n'y suis baigné so the word suis is hard but you can just think of a bird doing cri 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 it's very ui ui so if you if you can do that Cui, 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 it's that's the exact sound que je n'y suis baigné il y a so those are three actual separate words but they're all elided il y a longtemps que je t'aime so let's do that again il y a longtemps que je t'aime t'aime jamais je ne t'oublierai so let's do that last line one more time jamais not jamais it's just an e sound jamais je ne t'oublierai next verse sous les feuilles d'un chêne 
So you've got lots of different sounds that are very close to the uh sound. One more time. Sous les feuilles d'un chêne, je me suis fait sécher. So sometimes people will say sécher, but it's sécher. They're identical. So one more time. Je me suis fait sécher. Sur la plus haute branche. So the sur, it's a bit like, it's like e, but you pucker around it. E, u. So it's like putting an o, a very tight o around an e sound. E, u, e, u. So one more time. Sur la plus haute branche. A rossignol. Chanté. So this is where we don't say e at the end. It's the exception that I mentioned earlier. Chanté. And the word a, uh, you want to make it very open. Often I'll hear r, r, and there's a lot of tension in the tongue. It's just very relaxed. A, uh, a, uh, rossignol, uh, sorry, a, uh, rossignol chanté. I almost made that mistake of going Rossignol, which is completely wrong. Rossignol. It's a more open O. Rossignol chanté. It's a bit like the first promener. It's not promener at the very beginning of the song. On to the next verse. Chante, Rossignol chante. We'll do it one more time. Chante. Rossignol chante. Toi qui a le cœur gay. So toi is has a ou a. It's a double vowel, but you go straight to the end of the sound. Toi. So you go straight to a. And a reminder: we have the word cœur, and a lot. It's the e uh sound. Cœur gay. So one more time. Toi qui a le cœur gay. Tu as le cœur à rire. So we elide cœur à. Normally in speech we'd say cœur à rire, but in this song you would elide it. And the U again, very, it's like an E sound uh, rounding around it. So one more time. Tu a le cœur à rire, moi je l'ai à pleurer. So one more time, moi je l'ai à pleurer. J'ai perdu ma maîtresse. So uh, perdu ma ma maîtresse. So you got et et. Uh, so there's three vowel sounds. Just make sure you put them in the right place. One more time. J'ai perdu ma maîtresse sans l'avoir mérité. You've got the wa again, O-I sound there. L'avoir, and you just add the R at the end. So one more time. Sans l'avoir mérité. Pour un bouquet de roses. Now, bouquet is a word that's often used in English, and you'll say bouquet, boo. Then there's two diphthongs in there, boo, k. So you've got to drop those, and you say bouquet, boo, just like a ghost, boo, k. And those are the two sounds. There's no diphthongs. So one more time, pour un Bouquet de roses que je lui refusais. One more time. Que je lui refusais. And the final verse. Je voudrais que la rose. Again. Je voudrais que la rose. Fut en 
corrosier. So you'll hear that I elided all the sounds. Fu, so it's very u. And then you put the t to the next word. Tancore, tancore, fu. And so as I would speak it, I would say fu, encore, au rosier. That's each word separate. But when we sing it, fu, encore, au rosier. Et que ma douce amie. So this is interesting here too, because when you have a word that starts with a vowel, you do elide what comes before, even if it ends with a vowel. So you have, you wouldn't do douce ami. It's douce ami. So one more time. Et que ma douce amie. And we do pronounce that e uh, at the end of ami. Fut encore à m'aimer. So you have that fut encore again, that full eliding. So one last time. Fut encore à m'aimer. So there you have it, your French addiction coaching for À la Claire Fontaine. I hope you learned a few things. Thank you for watching and do tune in for part two of this video. À la Claire Fontaine is quite central to French Canadian culture and I will talk about the origins of the song and so on. And so I do hope you'll tune in for that. And until next time, bye.